Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about joint data tables activity. First of all, we'll see what is joint tables. By using joint tables, we can combine rows from two different tables by using their common values. If you see on my screen, I'm having different types of joints in UiPath Studio. That is one, inner join, full join, and left join. I will explain you these joins in a minute. If you see on my screen that I'm having table one and table two, if there is any common values in this table one and table two, then based on the condition that we are going to use inner join. Let me show you a scenario. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with sheet one on sheet two. If you see in sheet one, I'm having role number, student name, and class and respective subjects which students has got. That is in sheet one. In sheet two, you will find role number and student name along with that, that there is a different data like age and where they are staying, that the location. Now I want to join these two tables. How can I go ahead and do that? If you observe in common in sheet one and sheet two, we're having commonly that, that is role number and student name. So based on these two things, we can join it and then we can get the output. Now, if you observe again in sheet one, I'm having one to nine is the roll number. Whereas sheet two, we are having one, two, six, eight, nine, ten, and so on till 12. So by using inner join, we can get what are the common things in these two tables by using inner join. That is in pictorial format, if you see, what are the common that we are having in the table one and table two, if you want to get that those values based on the inner join, we can go ahead and we can get it. Then we'll see about the full join. If you see, I'm having table one and table two, and there is some of the uh, you know common uh, values that we're having in both the tables, but we want to get along with the common values, along with the common values which we have in the both the tables. I want full data like table one, table two, along with that full information like table one, table two, along with common data also, we need to get it. How can we go ahead and get it? By using full join. That is about full join. Now we'll see the left join. I'm having entire table one. I'm having some information in table one. I want to get the entire data in the table one along with that is there any common data in the table two also i need to fetch out this is the representation way how we are going to fetch the data by using joints on the data tables now let me switch to excel let me show you once again the data i'm having some information about the student and their subject marks i'm having in the sheet one in sheet two, I'm having role number and the student name along with different details like age and location. Now, how can I go ahead and club these two or join these two tables by using join data table? This is the main agenda of our this session. Okay, now let me go to UiPath Studio. Now what I'm going to, I'm going to add a new sequence with the name of join data tables. Now let me go to activities. What I'm going to do to fetch the data in the sheet one, I'm going to use Excel application scope. Let me drag and drop. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going for the uh, browsing for the file student marks. Now I want to read the data from the sheet one of the student marks. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to activities. I'm going to use read range activity onto the panel. Sheet one, I'm going to read it by using read range activity. And then I'm going to store in the data table. What is the output? Control K, I'm going to set the variable. I'm going to say sheet one data table. Let me go ahead, let me click on enter. Now let me go to the variables. If you see the variable type and variable type is data table and the scope is do. Now only it will be applicable only for do activity. Now I'm going to expand this. I'm going to assign this for the entire sequence. Okay, so in the sheet one, we have read the data by using Excel application scope as well as read range activity. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the same Excel application scope. I'm just copy pasted. And then what I'm going to do in the sheet two, I'm having some data, right? So in the sheet two data, I'm going to 
uh, read the data by using read range activity and then I'm going to store the data in sheet 2 that is sheet 2 data table. I'm going to take two tables over here. Do you understand this? One for one for the sheet 1, another one for sheet 2. This is for the sheet 1 purpose and this is for the sheet 2 purpose. Now let me go ahead, let me create one more data table variable that is sheet 2 data table I have given the name and then the variable type is data table and you can see the scope the join underscore data underscore table sequence now let me go to excel application scope once again let me expand that now after read range of the sheet 2 where I have to store in the sheet 2 data table I'm going to give the name as sheet 2 data table now from the excel application scope this above one that we got output as sheet one data table another one sheet two data table now i'm going to join these two data tables by using join data table activity that is my agenda now let me go to activities search for join data table where we can find that under programming under data table we will find join data table let me drag and drop after excel application scope First of all, we'll see the properties over here. What kind of properties that we have for the join data tables? First one is the inputs. If you see the inputs, that the data table one. This is the output that we got from the table, uh, from the Excel application scope. What is the data table one? That we have given it as sheet one data table. And data table two, that is another data table which we have used for the sheet two data table. So the main purpose is that, that we have to combine two tables by using join data table. That is our main concern, right? Now, if you see the options over here, the options, there's a different options that we have that I have shown already to you, right? The join type that we have inner join, left and full join. Based on your situation, based on your requirement, you're going to select which type of join type that you have to select. Now, I will select inner join. I will explain you again about this inner join, how we are going to do that, okay? And the output, I'm going to store it as control K output join data table. And I'm going to click on enter. Now, why I have used this inner join? Let me go to my Excel. Now, what I want to do, my requirement is that I want to join sheet one or data table one with the data table two. So which are common in the you know which are having com both in the common in the data table one and data table two i want to fetch that data that is my requirement that's the reason i have used inner join okay now i will show you all the types of uh, you know join types i will show you that now once again i will go to the join wizard how we can go ahead and we can see that if you see over here i'm having join wizard let's click on that now if you see input data table we have already given sheet one data table and the input to sheet two data table and the output is op uh, output join data table now we want the common functionality right the join type is the inner but on which column that i have to join the both the table one that is table one and the table two now i will say if you if you observe that i'm having both sheets or both data tables i'm having role number and the student name I will take one condition that is role number. Okay, let me copy that. I'm going to your path and then I'm going to give the table one is role number and table two also we are having the common column that is role number. Now I'm going to select equal operation. Now let me explain you again. In the data table one and data table two, I'm going to join inner join based on the condition which we have on the column name role number one equal to role number one. And then you are going to store the output in output join data table. That is my requirement. Let me go ahead. Let me click on OK. Now to write the data, to write the data after join, we got the output in the OP join data tables, right? Where we can write it normally by using write range activity. Let me drag and drop. Before that, if you are going to write range, I need to use Excel application scope. If you see, I'm writing outside of the Excel application scope, but for this one also, we required Excel application scope. Let me go to activities. Let me drag and drop. 
I'm going to use the same ex uh, path, student marks, and then I'm going to drag and drop this into the do activity. Now, I'm going to write in the sheet three for the right range. And what is the output right now that we got it? What is the join data table that we have got it? Output join table, right? That is what I'm going to use it over here. Output join data table. Now, I will drag and drop message box once again because to show the process is completed or not. I will simply say after completion that I will say it as process completed. Let me minimize all these things so that we will understand easily. Okay, now I'm going to click on, uh, I'm just going to give the value as completed. Okay, now for the right range, I have to give options add header. Let me select that. Okay, now let me run the bot. Now, if you see, sheet three has been created and the message, uh, we got the message like, you know, process completed. Now, if you observe in the sheet one, I'm having role number, student name, class, India, and all these subjects, right? If you see till here that I'm having all the information that is inner join, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you see in the both the role numbers here and here, you can see both are the values or the common values has been created as a row. And you can observe we are in the sheet two that we are having like 10, 11, 12 also, but the data has not given in the output. And even in the sheet one that I'm having seven, but you don't find sheet uh, that is row number seven in the output. So what will get it? What are the common values we are having in the both the data table? That is only the values that we are going to get it by using inner join type. And also if you observe over here, I'm having role number one here. And if you see the role number underscore one, it's got it because of already to define the difference of the different different table that it will be defined like role number and the role number one that is column number column name and the underscore one it will be created by default and you can see here also student name student name student name underscore one but for the what are the unique we are having the columns that age location and all these things are unique that's the reason it is not giving any uh, underscore one like that it is not going to giving any kind of columns okay i hope you understand about the inner join now let me go back to my bot now what we are going to do we are going to change the type for the join table. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use left join. Okay. And after that, I'm going to chain the Excel application scope of the do activity. What is, I will say is left sheet. Okay. To remind that I'm just giving left sheet and then I'm going to save it. Now let me run the bot once again. Now, if you see left sheet has been created, now we will un we'll check it out what is the difference for these things now if you see on my left hand side of left hand side in the nothing but sheet one data table that is what you are having all the entire data in the sheet one it is going to be getting all this data you can see one two three four five six seven and you can see till nine it has been uh, checked with the another table and it's given the values but whereas the seventh row also is given uh, given as an output because of we're having in the sheet one data table that is left table all right and on the right hand side you don't that is in the sheet two data table you don't have any values but it is giving as a uh, null value that is nothing but this is the left data table and this is the right data table if you don't have any values in the right data table it will give it as a null values that is the mean of left join in the join data table now we'll go back again to the uh, bot now what we're going to do we're going to change the type join type to full in the sense both the tables that is sheet one and sheet two i want to get the full information how we can go ahead and we'll get the values let me show you that let me click on okay after changing the join type and i'm going to change the value over here in the sheet uh, sheet output as full sheet Okay, now let me save the bot and let me run the bot. Now, if you see full sheet has been created. 
now if you see what will happen first of all it will get all the common values still here you are having the both common values in the left table that is sheet 1 data table and the sheet 2 data table right but you can see over here seventh one i don't have any values from uh, i'm having the value in the sheet 1 data table that is left table but i don't have any values in the right table right so that's the reason but still i want i'm using full join right that's the reason what are the values that are not matching that will commit as a null that is already left join and then you can see over here on the right table that we are having some other information like 10 11 12 ids but i don't find any values in the sheet one data table but still it is going to be getting like i can say this is actually right join which we have in the other technologies but it is going to giving uh, you know it is in ui path it is just giving inner join left join and full join only that's the reason they are going to be used in a different way but you can see over here this is the right join actual right join nothing but what are the values that you have on the right hand right table that will if it is not matching on the left table then it will come as a blank that the mean full join is a left join plus right join okay both the entire full information has to be mapped on the both the tables if it is not matching then it will give us as a blank and then it has to come as a data this is all about different join tables that is one full join left join and inner join thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day